Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work, where here in this video we're going to cover question 15 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. I encourage you to subscribe to the channel, one, to support me, and two, to get notification uh, for every new video, so that way you don't miss one and you can support me at the same time. So without further ado, let's tackle this question. It shouldn't be too long here. We have... Um, 3 to the 11 times 3 to the 2. And we need to express it as a single power. We don't need to evaluate it. We just need to express it as a single power. So just a little bit about exponent properties and what they mean is that we have this rule here. We have when we have a to the m times a to the n, what do we do? We add the exponents okay that's the main rule here so we add the exponents so that said we can move on to step two and we have three to the 11 times three to the two what do we do we add the exponents so that's three to the 11 plus two which is three to the 13 and that is our final answer because it's expressed as a single power and now if if it was asked to evaluate the power, what would we do? Well, we would actually do three times three times three times three, 13 times. So I'll just write it like this. So that would be three to the 13. Now maybe I'll put brackets. And that's a huge number because you can imagine, right? That's nine times nine times nine times nine. It's huge. So that's 1,594,323. Uh, so, but luckily we're not asked to do that, but it'd be just as easy. You type it into your calculator, right? And then just to show you to build some intuition here, what we could do is do three squared times, uh, yes, it is multiplied, right? So times three to the 11. And if I finish, close my bracket and I write equal, it should be the same thing. Those two are exactly the same thing. So that's to build some intuition. And again, if you can't remember why we add the exponents and when we subtract and when we multiply and so on, uh, I'll show you a little trick that the way I remember it. Okay. So here, what we have is really what we have is three times three times three, 11 times times three times two, uh, three times three, two times. So that's 11 times and that's two times. So really that's just equal to three times, three times three, 13 times. So what do we do? We add the exponents here, right? So then that would be equal to three to the 13, which is three to the, or maybe I'll write three to the nine or 11 plus two. And similarly, we can, I'll just drag this down. We can do this one and then that would be three times three. This one, I'll write it fully out. So we have uh, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll recount just to make sure. Then in here we have three squared. So now what do we do? Well, we can cancel these threes, and that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's why we have three to the 11 minus two or three to the nine. That's why it works. And then here it's, it's the same thing. We have three to the 13 
to the 11 squared. So that's 3 to the 11 times 3 to the 11. You can add brackets if you want, doesn't matter. So really that's just equal to 3 times 3 times 3, 11 times, times 3 times 3 times 3, another 11 times. So how many, how many times do we have in total? 11 times and 11 times. So that would be 22 times, right? So that's 3 times 3, 22 times. So what happened here? We multiplied. So then that would be 3 to the 11 times 2, which is 3 to the 22. So that's just some intuition of why these rules work and um, to not to memorize them because I see a lot of people that are unsure with exponent rules, but you just need to take two seconds to ask yourself, why is the rule the way it is? That way you, you'll never guess in math and that's the way to do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video of Do the Work.